How about like this El Camino? Camino. Thank these you are, very much. These are hard to find, by the way. But it's all it is from the door Beautiful. forward is a 67 Chevelle. All the parts are readily available, but boy, is it different. Is this your El Camino, ma'am? Yes, it is. Can I bother you for a second? Sure. This is stunning. Can you tell me about the 67 El Camino? Uh, I ordered it in 66 The before the, the dealers had the, the, the books for the new cars. And uh, it was the idea. I ordered it. I wanted an antique car. Uh, I wanted a really a 50 and 9, but my dad said, if you find one, it's going to be in horrible shape, and you can't fix it, and it's going to take tons of money. He says, if you want one, he says, order it. And he says, order one and keep it. And that's what I did. So I have it for 51 years. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, what, what drew you to the El Camino? I always have been so fascinated by them. I've never been in one. I don't even think I've been this close to them. I've seen them on the road. I, I always say Florida is the El, the land of the El Caminos because anytime you go down there, you see a ton of them. Uh, what drew you to the El Camino? Um, just because they were different. And, and I'm a different kind of person. <laughs> And, hey, as I say, I'm not much of a girl, so um, I, I was a tomboy, and I had no brothers, and because I wanted to be an operating engineer when I was in school, but that was before women's lib, and that wasn't going to, I wasn't going to cut it, you know, being a girl in, in, a, in a man's field. What did you wind up doing? I wound up being a bookkeeper, but then when I got married, we had a farm, so, hey, that's as close as I got to equipment. Tell me about the uh, the, the car here. Um, what, what have you done to restore it, or, or is this all original? Um, it's basically put back. It, it was restored, put back to the way the way it was when the day I bought it and picked it up out of the showroom. Can you can you walk me around to show me the interior and uh, hey, show me the bed as well? It's pretty unbelievable. The spare tires behind the uh, passenger seat. Yep. Yeah, that's where it is. And when I first got it, I I got it and picked it up on November first, and I wasn't 21 yet, so I didn't know if I could put it in my name. But I did get it in my name. Hey, was that a thing back then that they didn't? Was it that people under 21 couldn't own a car? Or was it women couldn't own a car under? No, 21? Uh, it was just it was a thing. It, okay. You needed to have be 21, and the the dealer helped me do it because I was going to be be 21 later on in, in the month. And then that year for Christmas, I wanted a cover because I, I never really hauled anything in the body. Uh, when I put my snow tires on or took them off, I put a blanket down, put them on the blanket, and I had I had a that was I got for, for Christmas for my parents that year. They paid to have a, a, a tarp put on here, and it was matched the the seam lines matched the the, the roof, and. Uh, could I get in? Would sure. that be okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to the driver's side if okay. that's okay. And I'd love for you also it's to show off the engine. Hot. Well, of course it's going to be hot, the way Matt. I, the way I chose not to have air conditioning. No air conditioning. No, because I would have then needed the 327 engine the, the salesman suggested. Between that and the price of the air conditioning, it would have made my, my car payments more than $60 a month. And I wasn't going to pay more than 60 bucks a month for my car payments. So what were your car payments? Oh, uh, like 59 something. J just about $59 $60. a month. I'll take that. I'll buy it from you for fifty nine dollars a month. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the book from the the, um, the the dealership that showed all the new cars, but they didn't have that when. But the the salesman I had was into old cars, so he asked me if I wanted it. So I have the papers of every time I put gas in the car. I can you know. If, if I add them up, I can tell you how many gallons of gas went through it. Here's the El Camino. Wow. It's pretty awesome. You know, I think the, 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 the appeal is that this is a car with a pickup truck bed, so you've got the haulability of a pickup truck, but you're, this feels and looks like a car. Well, yeah, it's a Chevelle. Basically, it's a Chevelle. Which is what Matt was saying. This yeah. is basically a Chevelle. Yeah. Then you went with automatic, um, yeah. and it's got the... Um, I always find the speedometer always interesting. It's where it's just this long speedometer across yep, the dash. That was the way they were back then. It's a lot of fun. Did you, you and you had the AM FM radio or just AM? Uh just just AM. Hey, I was too cheap to splurge with the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, at that time I was only earning like fifty-five dollars a week. <laughs> fifty-five dollars a week is that means one whole paycheck, uh, maybe one and a half paychecks because uh, taxes yeah. had to go to uh, pay for your car. That's mm -hmm. a that's a pretty big deal. Yeah, but hey, I, w I was at home, so I lived at home and I had to pay board. But um, that's the way it was. And then when I was going to get married. Uh, I, the deal was, I said to my husband, I said, uh, th that's fine, but, but the 67 El Camino doesn't go because I had a 73 also. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, well then, uh, well, I married a fellow that had two kids, so the El Camino wasn't, uh, exactly. Kid friendly. Kid friendly, yeah. yeah. 
So uh, did you, uh, you, 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 you got rid of the 73, you kept this, and what do you drive today? Um, uh, an 85 Chevy van and a 98 Freightliner that I pull my 40-foot tra- a fish wheel with. Very cool. Well, this is beautiful. Hopefully you get it on the road uh, at least uh, once a month or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I go to Florida for the winter, so it, it sets over the winter. But, hey, yeah, I, I like to use it. Thanks for sharing with us. It's a pleasure to meet you. Congratulations. This is great.